Why, hello, everybody. So, we've got another video here. Today, we are going to be going on a step, a step guide to Oxygen Not Included. Sorry, one sec. A uh, Steam game. Right here, Oxygen Not Included. So, first of all, of course, you're going to want to start the game once you've got it. I like this game, it's pretty fun. And then, I'm gonna play, load up a new game. I'm, I'm going no sweat here, because I like it more. But you can choose survival if you want. And you can mess with the game settings if you want. And maybe do fast workers mode, but this thing, I'm just gonna do a normal game. Random by the seed, but it doesn't really matter that much. Also, if you go over here or any one of these other ones, these sides, this one, you'll see things like your active, magma channels, frozen core, alternate projects, no case, medium boulders, slime molds, shoots on the ocean, trapped oil, large boulders, just uh, lots of things like that. But today we're just going to do this. So I'm going to press start game. And just wait for it to load. If you're having trouble with the game performance, you should probably put the back graphics down a bit. I think that would help. So, <coughs> I'm not exactly an expert, but I'm definitely not a beginner either. So I just take it into mind, I don't know the really good tricks. So, you have two, three, no, sorry, three duplicates here. Um, I accidentally said two at first. So this was Rowan, Ruby, and Bart. You can see their uh, good things in the green, and the bad things in the red. And you can see the tricks here, here, and here. And then you can see their stress react, their stress reaction, and their overjoyed response here. The follow. So usually you are going to want one farmer. You can choose whichever one of these you want. Medicine isn't too important if, as long as you follow this tutorial. And then you usually want a researcher. Research is a very big. Uh, Important thing, you know? Important. Uh, uh, important trait, like an important. It's important to the game. I don't know how to say it very well. And then, you'll probably want. Well, you can choose really any one of these. Usually a digger is nice, but also you can have an operator. I'm just gonna go with digger for now. Got two of these. It's cool. And just go ahead and name your colony. You can also name your own if you want. Or you can just name it. This is what I'm going to name it for now. A whole of these. You can use any name you like that the game allows. Sorry, there was a chip. So anyways, here, yeah, that's all you're gonna want. Pause the game with spacebar. And then you can go to dig here. And then I usually just dig out these corners and keep it at or hide as always. Now, 
There will be some overlays. Oxygen. Oxygen is very important. Power. Temperature. Materials. Light. Planning. Ventilation. Decor. Gym. Farming. And room. They will all have at least a little effect on your duplicates. Just a little bit. So, if you press on, if you press spacebar again, they'll start working. And if you press U, you can see all the different things, including lessons, which you can use to see little lessons about how the duplicates work. If this tutorial doesn't help enough, maybe you should look at the phones. So, if you're looking for water, we've got some water here, here, and here. I think I'm going to go for this one, so you can choose any one of them. The one above the base, you have to like dig around so the water doesn't overflow everything. If you're wondering what these little cracks in the materials are, they are things in the materials. They're items, like for example, there could be a mealwood seed. This produces food, by the way. There are also some very muckers. There could be some muckers in those anyways, cracks. So let's see what this makes. When I the spit around it. Oh, look at that! It's a hatch! Hatches happen to be a basically a farm animal. They eat sandstone and poop out coal. So then we can really do that. And then we can do some tiles. If you want, you can have all your four tiles. It does increase the uh, difficult movement speed after all. So I'm just going to put pitcher plant here. I'm going to go into plumbing, get a pitcher pump, put it above the water source, or something like that. I'm actually going to uh, put it right here right now. Now, sand falls. It's just like Minecraft, if you've ever played that game. Most of us have. It's kind of weird, but it's, it's more sensical, because like, and soft material, sandstone is a hard material. And they kind of connect together, you know? So here's a very important thing that we need to get. Copper ore. Very important. So, and we should probably get some storage stuff. So you should put some storage bins. I usually but two to five, you can just do two for now. Sandstone is a very common resource, so you don't have to be too worried about it. Especially when you first start. If you're starting in a different asteroid, there will be a different resource. But whatever you see the most around, like for example, sandstone right here, just like that. You can also look on the materials overlay to see that. Yeah, that's that's a little bit different. And then you can choose you go, you click on the storage bin, and you can choose crater eggs, consumable ores, cultivatable soil, organic, and raw material that you want to store in there. You'll have more options the uh, more you do things, but for now, you should just put all of everything. But in organic, I recommend not putting slime or clay, because those have a lot of germs. Now the next thing we are going to want to do is a bathroom. Bathrooms are very important to organic. Now we're going to want to make a room like this. Like this, sorry. Just so don't that. Also, 
we made one, we can press copy settings and copy all the settings right here. Also, sometimes, yes, they can get stuff like that. So now we pay attention to this oxygen overlay. See all this carbon dioxide? Unbreathable. They need oxygen. That's oxygen and polluted oxygen are the only two things they can breathe. Tablet. Also, it makes sense. Now, while they're building all this and stuff, they're going to look at power. Manual generator, wire, and battery are all important. Right now, we don't have a co enough copper ores. There's some over here in our different control to get up. We can press tab to speed up our simulation. So, while they're building this, we can go ahead and click. We can go to medicine, go wash basin right there. And then go to plumbing, put in the house right, oh, right there, sorry. Right here. In our bathroom. You can just put it wherever, though it will have to lock off an area unless you want to have to wash basin. This is all we need for now. And there's also a bunch of more things. So these are all the things you can do. That you can make your duplicates do. These are all basically the building tabs. And then this is the number of cycles, your number of duplicates, your, your simulation speed. This is your red alert. You won't need to use it unless you won't want to use it unless it's an emergency because it always adds some stress, which is bad. <laughs> if your duplicate stress gets too high, they have their stress reaction, and that's never good. And also, you don't want any of them to be sick. That's why we have a wash basin here. And then calories are also important because they eat it. These are what they can eat. Now for now, this is fine. Eventually we're going to change it. And the priorities, we can put the ones that are more purple up for now. Because that's the best thing to do right now. And these skills, these are skills. Once this gets high enough, this little thing, they earn skill points. <coughs> skill points are for these things. And they let them do certain things. And if it has a heart next to it, they gain one morale when they get that skill. They do have a maximum, but the maximum is very high for the skills, so there's no need to worry. I don't want a letter going up. Over there. But it's okay. And I'll just be doing some work. level is too high and they won't be able to sleep. We're gonna put it that, that, and that. That'll look good. We should always make cots because it helps with the asterisk. This is all we need for now. This is the simple cycle one. And then we can look at schedule to see how far into the day that we are. And for now, we are okay. We can also assign priority. They're just the thing themselves or the priority. <coughs> so uh the duplicates the priority for these determines and what and the priorities determines who, which duplicates do first. Like for example if <coughs> for example if priority zero well, there's no priority zero, but priority one was a assigned to a to something. They most likely will do, they will most likely do it last unless they're 
priority thing is height. For example, if a farming task is one, but Gossman has this for farming, they will most likely do that first. Well, unless there's other farming tasks that have higher priorities. They're eating right now. This is their, what we call downtime. Oh, downtime, where they eat and socialize, basically. <sighs> and, uh, if you want their morale to be higher, you can add more downtime. Just don't add it, like, that much, because it won't matter at this point. Five is all they need for maximum aura. So I usually do that, though it's shorter work day. It just helps make them be a lot happier. So I think it's worth it in the end. But you don't have to, of course. There's a lot of unpaid things to manage in this game. They're all possible. Also, I recommend putting the uh, disinfect at one germ to get rid of all germ possibility. Them to move. Oh wait, <laughs> it's yeah. We're not gonna be so happy, sadly. I'm probably gonna not get rid of this carbon dioxide eventually. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. Oh wait, that little icon up there was indicating that it was soon. Also, don't go to the main menu or quit to desktop without saving unless you don't want to save your progress. Also, here, let me show you this. Save, main menu. Okay, and we go to load game. A whole of dupes. And then you can go back cycles if you want. Right now it's only going back cycles. You can go back cycles or go back to your saves. So if there's something that might go wrong, you can save. And then do it. And if it goes wrong, you just exit without saving. Or if it... Cycle's already passed, you can just rewind it, you know? Oh. Yeah, well, it's a big guy up. We're digging that up real good. Nice. I'll put that priority on six. Yeah, default priority is you all probably see is five. Mm -hmm. I usually like to put a door on my bathroom. It does increase morale after all. I recommend setting direction to whichever way, like facing away from the toilet, so they don't wash their hands when they come in because they're going to come out germ covered anyways. You know? Okay, so they're almost finished with this. Not quite, but almost. So, this is like a copper ore deposit. Copper and coal. You usually want to dig into those when you need some copper. Yeah. There are little green areas where there's a lot of plants, too. So that's nice. When deconstructing something, they do not lose any of the materials, thankfully. So, we're just going along like we can just have a good old time. <sighs> Disinfecting literally everything. Let's put this priority to seven. Oh, they 
do it. You will lose some stuff to the water a little bit. It's not much. It will be fine. And there we are. Some get some water. Yes. And now I recommend when you get the chance, if you don't go to a wash basin that's working it and they're covered in chins, I recommend making them wash their hands. Make them wash their hands. Here it is. man. There we go. They wash their hands, and when they go to the bathroom, they get covered in food poisoning, and then they wash their hands, and they're there again. Now, you may have noticed this little arrow here. What's it for, you may ask? What's, what it's for is basically, let's see. Properties. If you go to property, you can see how many uses, how many times it's been used. And you can clean the toilet automatically, but you will eventually need to, uh, you know, clean it out. So basically, it has visits. However many visits there are left, that's how many times the duplicates can use it left. Otherwise, afterwards, they'll have to uh, clean it out, basically. So the wash basin is important because they get covered in food poison germs. And when they're covered in food poison germs and go to eat, something. They'll eat the food poison germs with it. You can also look at all these things here. So they're just chilling. Why I think I'm just so weird. Okay. The last back looks too bad. Oh well. They can go in the water, but they won't be able to breathe and they will get colder if you go to temperature overlay. State change. This has less energy state change, you see? And, and it loses a lot of heat. You know? Oh. Sorry. No one Eventually they'll build all the stuff. It will take a while, but they will eventually. And once all this stuff is built, it's a research station. 
You're gonna want to click on it and press research. And you have all these things to research. The first thing I recommend researching is meal preparation. It'll, you'll have to research this first, but it, when you click this, it automatically goes here and here. And as you can see, these require novice research. But these require adventure required research. We'll get into that in a little while. <laughs> well, it's pretty fun. This game is pretty fun, you know? So, basically, you got a food. You'll have a micro musher here. I think you should uh, put all your power things close together. You know? So you don't have to use as much copper oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig this out for now. And place some piles right here. When you hear that noise, that means you have researched it. We got our fine note here. You want to put the compost right there because it does include duplicate returns. The algae terrarium requires a large amount of water but removes carbon dioxide, thankfully. You can add that if you want. And then food, we got planter box and ration box. For now, we're not going to use either of those. You can make an algae terrarium if you would like. There is a basically game breaking glitch, which I will discuss later. But okay, so, sorry, yeah, instinct. So here, when your printing cloud is doing this, and it says new printables available up here, and you click on it, choose a blueprint. And you can either have a duplicate or a care package, unless you've disabled those. In this case, we don't have them disabled. You should, you probably shouldn't add a new duplicate on the uh, first three cycles. Now it gives you printables every three cycles. So, my curse here, but what if you don't want that? this food though which is good you can say main menu go back and you'll find something new you might like it you might not hopefully you will though some things will only be able to be printed certain points in time. So now we have sand and a hatchling. And we have two duplicates. Now let's just say we want the hatchling. It's a baby version of a hatch. They don't mate. It's a pretty game. I don't know. I don't know what it traded, but still. So this is a little cute little hatch. I think a lot of things are cute, but this one is just adorable in my opinion. There's a hatch right there. Hatches, unlike, sorry, hatchling. It's a hatchling. So hatchlings, unlike hatches, stay awake during the daytime and go to sleep during nighttime. Hatches, on the other hand, bury themselves during the daytime and stay awake during the night time which is means they're nocturnal when they're adults the hatchling will eventually grow up now if you don't want hatchlings in your base for one reason or another there's something you can do okay where's that other one i wonder i'm going to search for it you can search for them by you can capture critters. You can use that eventually, but... How's that guy in there? How? 
there. Much better. Oh, weird. Oh, uh, if you cancel her angle, cancel her angle. Well, if you some reason want to, for some reason or another want to remove them, you could press attack. It will give you some food for me. In this case, this hatch. And it has different percentile chances to drop different eggs. Hatching eggs, stone hatchling eggs, and stage hatchling eggs. You can also press that and do that. And press cancel to cancel anything. Deconstruct to deconstruct without having to do that. And I already punch for that. Disinfect things. I disinfect anything infected. In this case, nothing, thankfully. These to move debris into storage. Like that. I'm gonna cancel it for now, though. Mop liquid spills. If there's a thin enough air spill on the floor, you can do that. For example, if you didn't get the bathrooms up quick enough. And your duplicates will have to go to the bathroom on the floor, sadly. And you'll have to mop it up unless you want it to get in the water supply. Harvest plants, which is to determine if they can harvest them or not. I'm just going to do that for now. No reason in particular. Yellow. And then, straight, strict pipe context. Tents. Which requires a certain skill to construct pipe contents. You will eventually unlock pipes and ventilation. Quite a bit though, of course. So let me just show you on the research. So, you'll want to get power. You'll probably want to get up to this. And then you'll want employment and advanced research. And brute force refinement. And you'll want plumbing and sanitation. You can replace your things with sink and laboratory. And then ventilation and portable gases. You'll want some of those in a certain order. And then you can start looking at their morale and make them happy. You know? Or just do some other things. It really depends on your playthrough. So, so when what, let's say they're done with this part pile, what they will do is they will you will want to replace a few tiles with them that have nothing on them. So the first place was from plus uh, sorry, that was a bit of a mistake. Then you click on them and there should be oh, it's up here. Here, one sec. I'm, I'm using a cheat. It doesn't work in the uh, newer version, but it does in this version. Well, we just got a different version. It's not newer or anything. Or older. So, if we go to base, there's a lot of other things here. Actually, sorry. Food. There should be farm pack. Choose the duplicates to put in there. It usually works. And then have them, and then you click on the plant you want. In this case, we're choosing the meal of seed. And you press plant. And you can also copy the setting if you want. And once they've planted it, let's just put this on higher priority right now. I'm using another cheat here, by the way. You'll see. And you can go to the you know what you can click multiple times to see things behind each other. You can see what they require for growth. Body temperature, air pressure, atmosphere, and fertilization for this one. And let me show you the glitch I was talking about. The oxygen. So if you happen to get so if you get one of so there's here somewhere stations oh yeah it's stations crafting station 
you can just deconstruct this for now for the example. You don't have to, but still. I, I, I don't recommend it. This is just for the tutorial. Sorry. <laughs> Put the crafting station there. I'm gonna just kind of get up with some more wires. Also, conductive wires can conduct more electricity. I'm probably a bad tutorial, but I'm okay-ish. And then here's oxygen mask, copper ore. You can make one for each of your duplicates. Let's just pretend also that we made it. Also, if you go to options, game, and you have a sandbox tools, that does let you go into a sandbox mode. It's a bit janky, but it's all right. And you can make a backup, and, or just enable sandbox mode, or just not. In this case, I'll just be enabling sandbox mode. For this, it's just an example. And then, when it, we can go to sandbox mode, then I'll just see. There it is. And then you can select. And select the person you want to wear it. Or that is people in my case. I want to be done eating and stuff. On the bathroom. Let me speak this up a bit. They will put on the oxygen masks. Now you will see their oxygen start to go down, but no need to worry. Because as long as there is any oxygen at all present in the area, look. Happens. Show you. And then they just breathe it in. But if there's a non breathable gas like carbon dioxide, they'll have to go up to the atmosphere. Though it makes their tasks a bit tougher, it is and not make them not be able to sleep as well. It is very useful for the oxygen, so you do not have to deal with it. Otherwise, you can make an oxygen generator and a carbon spender and a power up and that and stuff. You don't have to make it messy like me. So, good pipes. No. Good pipe. That have power. That'd be a whole generator. Jumbo batteries. I don't know. This is just some weird random tutorial, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I do kind of know what I'm doing, but not that much. Get it out there. That be working. I'm also gonna want a uh, thing for sewage. So you want your duplicates to dig a thing out of that. In this case, they can't dig through blocks like that, but. I'm just showing a little example. Oops. It'll look something like that. And then when the water comes through, and your drip can over algae, this will produce oxygen. And then this will get rid of carbon dioxide and just turn it into polluted water. This water, of course. And that does happen. I'm just going to put a depth generator here. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Coming. Some fluid water is coming out here. And some water is coming out through there. Your duplicates cannot use fluid water and plants with water and vice versa for a lot of things. Probably up to everything actually. Oh, oh well, almost everything. Not quite. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting pretty tired. This hitting really isn't. So this was the uh, short tutorial. There's a bunch of things here. Got to manage. You should probably look up another tutorial because I'm probably not that helpful a little bit. But, anyways, 
thank you for joining me here today and bye